morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what do you see here is my good old H502E. Well, why am I flying my H502E? Well, if you've seen recently, I lost my, well, I didn't lose it. I got it back, but my H501C fell in the drink somewhere in the Philippines. <laughs> and I, I uh, shorted out an ESC. But this is still a great quadcopter. And I still like to fly this one too. This is a great, another great traveling quadcopter that I take with me a lot. Uh, but I wanted to go over some things that are important that you should know if you're flying this quadcopter. I, I see a lot of beginners flying this and they make some mistakes that uh, are easily avoided that damage their quadcopters, particularly this quadcopter uses gears um, in this uh, to a gear reduction system uh, be between the motor and the propellers. Uh, unfortunately, dirt can get in there very easily, particularly sand particles and really gum up the gears and create excessive torque on your motors and you'll burn out motors if you don't um, clean that. Um, the way I check to make sure my motors are fine is I, I'll spin these props before and after each flight to make sure that they spin freely like that without any resistance at all. If you notice any resistance, you need to go in there and do, do not fly like that. And, and you can go in there and clean those gears by removing these two screws on the bottom here and then gently prying this off. Um, I like to get a little screwdriver in this one hole here to get it up so I can get a good grip on this and then wiggle it off. It's held by two pins that are right there, um, this bottom plate. And once you remove this bottom plate, you have access to the gears. And I like to take a pin and go in between each gear teeth and clean out any sand that might be in there. So that's one important thing to know about this quadcopter. Another important thing is don't take off or don't fly with just minimum satellites. Wait until you get a lot of satellites. Uh, right now I got 12. Uh, that improves the accuracy of this quadcopter and its ability to fly. So let's go into the air right now. I'm going to hit... Oh, notice I'm taking off from the top of my car. Why am I doing that? Because I don't want to get any sand inside my gears. <laughs> Find a nice little platform to take off and land with, too, with this quadcopter. So starting the camera, where do I start the camera? Right up here. I think it's a long press. And camera's recording, starting the motors. And take into the air. And let's go over here a bit and check the stability. Looking for any toilet bowl effect. Now, toilet bowl effect is where the thing will wobble around like that. And I might be seeing a little bit. Let's see. Uh, it's holding its position. But if you see wobbling, circular wobbling, like... Uh, that's good enough there. It's not doing a lot of it. You need to redo your compass calibration. And if you do that, you bring it down, land it, and bring both sticks down. Well, I don't like this. That's a lot of wobbling. Let me grab it here and let me turn it off. We're going to redo the compass cal. And to do that, you bring the sticks down and I believe inboard to start up the compass cal. Oh no, that unlocks it. Hold on. Down and to the right. No. Yeah, let's go just go into the air again. <laughs> Maybe that's just minor, but really, yeah, you need to redo the compass calibration if you notice a lot of wobbling. This is, this is working fine. So let's go out over the desert. I'm going to go up a little bit higher, right to about there, and that altitude is, let's just go forward too. It'll tell me the altitude here in a second, three meters. Now, another thing, I like to fly at slow speed, low rate. Why do I do that? When I fly at high rate, sometimes the GPS can, can't keep up with where the quadcopter is actually at. And you start getting that compass or the toilet bowl effect again when flying at high speed. If you notice toilet bowl effect while flying forward pitch, um, try flying at lower rate or bring it to a hover and just let the quadcopter see if the quadcopter will stable out. If it doesn't stable out, land immediately and redo the compass calibration. But nine times out of ten, it's usually you're just flying a little too fast for the quadcopter. Let's come back over this way. A little too fast for the quadcopter's GPS to keep up with it. So when that happens, best thing to do is just slow down so the GPS can keep up with it. How far are I? I'm only 84 meters out. But yeah, this is a wonderful little quadcopter, like the H501C, more expensive, but this one's only 80 bucks. And if you take care of it, and remember what I just told you about uh, keeping those gear teeth clean, um, watching for toilet bowl effect, 
uh, it should be a great quadcopter for you. Again, I'm flying in low rate. Let's go to high rate and see if we can demonstrate that toilet bowl effect. Full forward pitch, see if that happens to us. At higher rate. We'll go up a little higher too for... Well, it's not happening today, but if you have, that's because I probably got 12 satellites, but if you're flying around with eight satellites, seven satellites, six satellites, you know, you might see that toilet bowl effect also as your GPS fix is just not accurate enough to keep up with the quadcopter. Uh, again, I recommend waiting until you got more than just the minimum amount of satellites. Another thing I like about this quadcopter is its range. It's got spectacular range. You can go out close to 300 meters with it, with a toy grade quadcopter. <laughs> I'm gonna go up higher too for that. I'm only at 111 meters, but I've flown this out to about 270 meters, close to 300 meters. And if you fly out of range, it should come back. And with that in mind, I'm way out there right now. 210 meters, I don't see it anymore, uh oh. Let's do a return to home. Return to home, activate it. Man, I'm watching the numbers. They should be reducing 86 meters. I can hear it. Oh, I can see it. There it is there. I lost sight of the dang thing. So when you do that, just hit return to home. It's easy to lose sight when you fly out of range. And it's coming right overhead right now. Again, like I said, this is a wonderful little quadcopter. The H502. Uh, I got it right. H502E. E model, not the S model. Now they, people say, why aren't you flying the S model? I don't like that big bulky transmitter. That transmitter really sucks the batteries on that thing, and I don't really need FPV. I'm happy, more than happy, with just a, a two megapixel camera on it. Um, so in effect, you know, no big deal to me, no big loss flying around without, uh, let me go to lower rate too here. And I'm not gonna let it come down all the way. I'm just bringing it down to where I can regain control of it again. And you can regain control by pitching forward, giving it pitch or roll, and you got control back again. Now let me go to the lower rate. Okay, I should be in low rate right now. Nice slow, low rate. How's my battery on that? My battery's getting low right now. I didn't fully charge that before coming out here, so I better land it. I'll bring it in. Only got one bar on my battery. This has been sitting for about a week with a full charge. I shouldn't have, I should have flew it right away is what I'm saying, instead of letting it sit. But, okay, this is the H. 502E. Wonderful quadcopter. Really, really, really like this quadcopter. So I hope you enjoyed that flight. Let me turn off my camera, make sure I got the video. No, I took a picture <laughs> turning off the video camera. So, X4 Desire from Hubson. Wonderful quadcopter if you uh, pay attention to what I told you about the gears and uh, toilet bowl effect. Uh, don't fall for those, those beginner mistakes. Keep your gears clean. Always remember to check your after, before and after each flight that these spin freely. If they don't spin freely, go in there and clean those gear teeth. Uh, you'll, some people say, oh, it's the motors. It's not the motors, it's the gear teeth. And if you fly with that dirt and those gear teeth, then it will become the motors. <laughs> you will burn out those motors. So I so hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.